you walked in to see a completely empty and quiet bar. You look like you're doing better. Not like I used to be. Don't drink to forget anymore. I didn't like seeing how much you drank yourself into the hole. Wasted everything you had. Remembering Bloodstone hurt, and it still does. I found other things. Found That's a good to hear. An actual family. For a quick instant, his eyes rest on Akron, and there's like a slight narrowing of his eyes, but they continue on. Uh, I'm I'm Rowan. Nice I see. to meet you. Jamie, why don't you introduce me? Well, there's Tunok, Davner, Akron, Amara, and like he said, Rowan. Not exactly the uh, motley band of demon hunters that you envisioned for me, but it's home. Honestly, we've had some interesting reports as of late in this area. The Archdemon of Thanatos was being what summoned the below the city. What fucking name of all that's holy was he doing here? We Looked like some him. of the dragon marked were summoning him, so we stopped it. Killed them all. What? And he sort of like steps back a little like shook by what you've just said to him. Leadership is cavorting with something like Orcus? Well, the ones that were dead. Yeah, no, we killed all those other ones. Or they killed themselves. There's kind of, you know, weird sacrifice thing going. There's a, there's a hunt for them, for the remaining ones, if they're still alive. I mean, if they're <sighs> looking for demons to kill, well, there's another one that might be set up, but we're kind of already looking to take care of him. Do you know of a Rakdos? Rakdos. Lord of Riots? Yeah. Yeah, I know of him. Um, let's just say I have a vendetta with him. Through your intimate knowledge of the usage of key, you recognize as your uncle has activated his own. Oh no. Okay, I'm not gonna stop this. <laughs> Something's been going on with you. First, you've got one of the demonic bloodline working with you. Someone who claims to be a enemy, but appears to be an agent standing next to you. Pat Davner on the shoulder and say, I was there when this one's, when he was marked. I can tell you, it was not, he did not want that. And Akron can't help what he is. It's a curse that has what befallen fight, all of you. man. I am more than willing to dabble in a little fire. His eyes turn to you. You see a smile crack on his face. Hold on, hold on. The child seems to think that he wants to have a fight. We can make that happen. <laughs> okay, I think while well, you have your dick measuring contest, I'm going to go grab a drink. And she's just going to walk over to the bar. Uh, oh, yeah, get me one too. <laughs> a rather Rowan's crude, gonna stand there. And, uh, a rather crude kind of... depiction of the current situation, isn't it, Amara? Oh. This is a person that none of us has met, and he's already telling us, uh, or uh, rather giving us a very... No, appearance. I mean, by all means, I, that wasn't aimed at you, that was aimed at him. He just seems a little crotchety, so I'm gonna have a drink. Mm. You've dealt with uh, this enough in this city. After all. Isn't that theft, though? Are you gonna leave, at least leave some money? I'll consider. You better. <laughs> And uh, guys, fight a, an old man <laughs> that probably has the crazy, weird old man strength. Uh, He's probably like really. Master. <laughs> he stands up and goes buff as hell. Well, that, that's what I'm kind of considering. It's like uh, Uncle Eero. You feel a astral arm wrap around your throat from behind. Three more arms wrap around the rest of your body, gripping your hands and gripping the uh, uh, back portions of your of your body. Uncle, I would appreciate it if you didn't oh, murder my friends. And then you feel three more punches slam into you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn good thing you got that amulet, son. You are stunned. <laughs> Ink, as you turn around and watch as like your, your uncle disappears, reappears behind Akron as arms of astral energy just wrap themselves around him and just hold him still as your uncle drops into a stance of not gonna as... lie out of character want to slit this man's throat already <laughs> uh, pardon me crotchety old man would you like a tea uh yes jasmine please all right oh, I um and fair. this one is gonna <laughs> need uh <laughs> this one is going to need um probably one with a little bit of a extra in it. Right. Inkas, you've got the uh, booze for it, right? 
Uh, and with the last look around bit and of like, breath in my lungs, I'm gonna sh- just say, "Fuck off, you oh, old yeah. bastard." Oh. Hey, I'm pretty good at that. Would you like your yeah, tea yeah, hot or cold? Uh, it's uh hot, please, madam. Okay. Feel okay? I didn't break anything while doing that, right? No, I didn't know you were a chiropractor. I feel much better, thank you. Uh, but pardon me while I leave this godforsaken fucking bar. As you are getting to the front door, you suddenly realize everybody is laying on the ground right there. You turn and you look and you see as everyone is laying across the ground, sitting there. And the old man turns and he looks. Gonna find it difficult to do anything else, boy. As all of you have been knocked into your astral forms. Was I trying to make spirit tea then? Stop with the goddamn tea. (laughs) This man doesn't need any tea. He needs a psychologist. Yeah, barkeep, can I get some jasmine tea, please? Um... Maybe a little whiskey in it. Um, make that two. One for the lady, too. I'll pay. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, one for the red man. My name is Akron. It, yeah. You're all right. You're all right, Akron. Am I? I'm just going to, like, ugh, like up my, up my horns. Am I all right? <laughs> because demon shit, crazy shit's been going on. That's all I know. You young scamps. Could you feel anything? Vibrations. 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 Yeah, it ends up you being splayed open on a... Anyway. Technically, in that situation, two people died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On both Lots sides. People. We all died. Oh. Anyway. That sounds like a mighty fine bit of tragedy. With some more time, it'll become comedy. Gotta laugh at your deaths, otherwise you'll never enjoy them. Enjoy your death, yes. That was the fun part, though. I gotta toss a halfling really hard. Do you believe that maybe these people are having their memories tampered with? Hmm. Great. Uh, Excellent. Love that. I was hoping for a straight no, but... You can't always get... (laughs) What you want? want? Kind of liking this not being dead thing. (laughs) Yeah, it's, um... Kind of grows on you. Yeah. Uh, It does. Actually could use some bodies. Ninjas, that's how. Ninjas. No, no. Hips. No. This is. Ron will take what was his jasmine tea and whiskey and slide it over. As you are sliding it over, you do realize that there are uh, there's a stack of about five gold coins sitting off to the side where his tea would have been placed. <sighs> oh. Guess he's paying. I guess. Okay. Gonna... <laughs> I always expected his voice to be deeper, you know, like, Where's the demons? <laughs> Where are they? Well, what about Where's it? Rachel? Where is she? Martha! What? Um, <laughs> before we dove, dive down there, whatever it is is down there is not going to be light. I say Probably. we stop by the last, some houses on the way home, do some investigating if we'd like, or we just go straight home. And rest well, of the night, first thing in the morning, we hit the catacombs. He's, he's dressed kind of similar to how, like, Rowan was, except he has two fake wooden swords on his back. Oh, god damn it. It's so scary. <laughs> hey, do you see that? Everyone's gonna... Do the whole, like, oh, shit. He kind of looks like my type. <laughs> no. I don't want an imposter since what his fan squad thing. I just, nah. Right off to the side of him, there is... uh one sort of like poorly dressed half painted version of Akron a uh, another guy who looks kind of like dressed he's dressed like a ninja off to the right guys is just going to sit back in his chair and just face palm and just shake his head let's get the fuck out of here i don't want to talk to them yeah uh, quietly and Rowan's going to chug the jasmine like really fast and just get up out of his chair very quietly and push it in i, I want to be like fucking edgy teenager up against the wall with my cloak over my head one foot like, up lean back see this acron this this focon as he's like you're like fuck this mother and you like snap your fingers at him um what's that <gasps> as like all three of them seem to like react to the scent of sulfur for a second one of them seems to almost be having like a panic attack at the uh, at the uh, at the smell, and he's like breathing very hard, and he's like, <clears throat> oh, uh, uh, 
I'm, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Gave this one guy a PTSD attack. <laughs> and that's a necromancy spell, right? Yep, level yes. nine. <laughs> Don't you dare. I mean, Storytelling, go with it. Personally, mm. from the last time, we went in there needing sleep. We didn't get it, and we, the outcome. Yeah, two of us died. I say, we investigate on our way home. Go home, we rest, we wake up. And we go straight to the catacombs. You said weird things started happening with your tablets, and then you told us that it's the city is vibrating, so are well, they connected? No, 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 I don't, oh, I don't think so. I mean, like what, the, if, uh, what if the ship below, maybe below parts or something is reacting to the that controller being here? That's the only thing that could maybe be, I don't know for sure. All I know is that the two tablets became one it does more things now well it's funny that you say that information can't hurt because there's been a whole bunch of information we've been trying not yeah to let's remember. not talk about that <laughs> yeah. and guys for a moment you do feel sort of like a half vibration it's lost in the general hubble blue of the bit of the city of like there's so many people there's carts rolling by people walking by you have multiple people walking around you you feel a vibration of some form by sitting and focusing on what you're feeling but you do not know if it was your friends that were causing it or if it was a, a permeating vibration through the city okay so why would paul give us a list of official names but they're not real well, let's. I have a theory, but I think we need to go check on some more people. Um, they might have good. been real at some point, but you know what happened. Why is that hell floating? <laughs> we can go to the library. We could. Rowan's going to start ex inspecting the desk and really appreciate the craftsmanship of it while he comes. Mom. You're just going to see. Okay. Whoa. His deck. His deck. Whoa. He wants his deck. What? Uh, Rowan, appreciate the words, but leave the contracts where they are, please. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. I, and I have everything in place. I don't want anything messed with. Um, That's an ultimate dad move to go walk up to another man's deck and be like, yeah, it's good craftsmanship. And like, and then you're like silently in. judging all the little mistakes he made. Closely inspecting you know, it. Sometimes. He just can't keep his hands to himself, to be fair. Rowan's just going to be really just like, just really checking the, the cuts and the, and the grooves and the, and the carvings just to see like. Mahogany. Are you touching it or no? Yeah. He's just like, oh, like you know, like the, the worksman. Okay. I probably shouldn't touch the desk. You touch it in your well, hand. Touch it. touching everything. I just touched the desk, so. Rowan's just gonna sit back in the chair, kind of like this, with his hands tucked between his thighs. All right. Mm -hmm. He's and a curious boy. There's a knock at the door. I um I brought uh uh, uh Ben Kill with me. Ben. Um, for those of you who have been to the library, you recognize as one of the uh, young library aides. I was gonna say, is it the one that screwed up trying to get and yeah. gave Ikron a bad pamphlet? Is it the fuck up? Uh, or me? It was <laughs> or you? Yeah, yeah, it was you. That's right. Go ahead and take a seat, young man. We're here to interview you about some strange happenings that apparently you've been victim to. I, are you asking about my, um... Panic attacks? attacks? Yeah. The library is a, a spooky, a spooky place. There's two of you. Two, not two of you, but two other boys like yourself. Yeah, they were helping us when we were last down there. Two other boys. No, it's just me. No. Yeah. Weren't there two other boys? There were. It's just... I mean, it's just me and the librarian. Oh, I hear something. Yeah. Wait a minute. Do you... you hear something? Yeah. What the hell is it? What is... All right. You heard it. I'm a point at Akron. It kind of sounded like when I was inside, like, under the hell mother ship. Hmm. Is it like the tremors? That you guys are hearing? Tremors? What, uh, tremors are you talking about? No, uh, it's little things. It's, you really can't even tell, but unless you, did you, did you feel, did you feel something? Like an earthquake? I don't, I don't feel anything at all. 
Can we talk about this after? We're in the middle of an interview. You guys ready to go to another <laughs> potential death trap? Yes. Yeah. Right away. Uh, the amount of enthusiasm in that was a bit disconcerting. <laughs> Inkle, go knock on the door. And looking at you is a sort of middle-aged woman. My name Maybe. is Mary Gloglug, but I'm, I don't know, real. Uh, may I see your hands? A look comes on her face as she goes, I'm, I've never been married. And she looks over at you, Amara, and like, who are you? All right. Staring at her face as she's responding to these questions, she looks just upset, devastated, but she's telling you the truth. Who are your Ron's parents? Ron's going to lean over to Amara. Something's really not right here. Mm-hmm. Do notice that she has uh, a ring on her left hand. As soon as it's closed, I'm going to look at the group back. Okay, that was fucking weird, right? That was fucked. Oh, Super fucking very, weird. Very weird. <laughs> All right. I thought we I had mental problems. Back at the, um, I was weird out at the Citadel. There were three boys. Three. I, yeah. yeah I, I really remember to... one. Right. I'm one. I'm really, thinking, she really is... thinking I need to read somebody's mind. She is clearly married, can't remember her husband's last name, husband or significant other's name. I'm kind of leery about, you know, taking a night to rest at this point because... Shit's happening. Something's happening fast. Very quickly, but at the same time, we're no use to anybody if we aren't 100%. Tunak's going to do something weird. All right. Okay. He's, he's gonna think about whether or not he, he can remember the things that he could remember earlier. As odd as that sounds in phrase, he want he's he's for, he's gonna check to see if he's forgetting shit that he. Uh, this I don't know it's yeah, weird, A vague, potentially check. dangerous. Yeah, you know, I'm doing an integrity <laughs> check. How's the parody? I'm gonna try to remember the events of the last couple of days and see if there's anything that happened that maybe. I'm like, we did, and then, wait, where did we go after that? Like, that type of thing. See if I'm forgetting shit. Just are forgetting things. They're they're crafting entire new realities around their forgotten. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> People sure. have spent years of therapy trying to do this exact same thing. Like, yeah. like the oracle has in her kitchen. Know thyself. There is no spoon. Tunuk the Pooh um, starts going, think, think, think. <laughs> And he's thinking about everything that he's done for the last few days and starting with like waking up and feeling really fantastic and having like slept really well to the next few days of like doing things, going to the library where there was one child and going through everything. As Wait, hang on a second. Encounter people. Hang on and a picking up that box and looking at it, everything seems to piece together. You see, hang on, I just got to verify. You said we went to the library and saw that one child. We saw that one child. Does anybody else react or remember or think differently of the one child that we encountered? The the player, not the player or the player character, not the are player. You, are you going? Sorry, are you yeah. gonna make that statement to the group? Do, like, I'm, I'm, I'm Tunak's doing this. Tunak's doing this. Well, he can't question himself because he's he's just right. reiterating it. That's the way down the alcohol. God right. is conveying yeah. it. So, so I was like, so I, I went to the library <laughs> and we have a one kid that was at the library. That's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Right. We Rowan has announced that there was two other kids multiple times in the office and nobody said anything. Now all of a sudden we only remember one. Or he this, only remembers one when well, he confirmed he remembered two others. Obviously, a point in time where these people remembered everything and then they forgot. So, so Tunak okay, literally just said now. Remember if there's two other kids? Yeah. Roll insight checks on yourselves, people. All at disadvantage, right? All oh, at disadvantage. Wow. All right. Did anyone roll a natural 20? Oh. I didn't roll a natural 20, one but second, I, gotta... I rolled a 16 Wait, and my insight is a plus 7. I rolled an 18. Uh, is it a okay. potent remember, or does it have to be a critical remember? Damn. Holy crit. This has to be a crit. Holy crit, That has Batman. to be a crit. That's a, that's a crit. That's a crit. I agree. That that would have to be a crit. Yep. All of you start <sighs> listening as, like, Tanook is, like, 
recounting this like situation and Rowan, you and Amara remember like, you know, when the one child was there and all of you seem to remember one kid. Mm. Womp womp. Well, yeah. what the fuck are we even doing? I mean, well, no, no, no. This is me. This is me. Yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to be like, oh. Huh. Yeah, it sounds I mean, right. seems fine. Yeah. Well, there's only one kid. Yeah. No. That's I, I okay. Know. So long as we're not forgetting anything. No, 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 no. I don't why, think so. Why, should... why, mm. why would you say that there were multiple children there? Did you think you maybe saw the I think it was multiple just times? Moving so quick that it seemed like there were more than one. If I can God, are we are we are we taking literally like anything where we talked about an instance that there being multiple kids is now of forgotten from our minds. Like none remembers us uttering yeah. multiple referencing at all. I'm going to say for the purposes of storytelling, <laughs> all of you who are in the library were looking in the library and requesting your books and everything. All of you sat down and started like asked such and such to retrieve my books a note where you said oh i i asked this person this and they brought me this this and this but that person didn't bring me that what do i remember so there is some subtle fuzziness somewhere do we want to continue asking around guys because my brain hurts uh, i want to go down into the catacombs and find answers yeah i think we uh, should head home before we hurt our brains anymore um to be fair, we already hurt our brains enough trying to remember our own past. Who has the list? I do. Yeah. Uh, Ron's gonna give it back to Ink. Put it back in his journal. Keep that yeah. safe, bud. Journal is in his pocket. <laughs> Ink Eyes is walking with his hands crossed, so one hand is on the pocket with the journal. Akron, you turn to Ink Eyes and you go, what time is it? Ink guys, you go, oh, it's, only, it's been like an hour, right? Yeah. It's full dark. Why is it so dark? Something's weird here. Davner, I need you to tick off three of your health dice. My uh, hit dice? Jesus yes. Christ. How's it looking? <laughs> Not great. Those of you who rolled a 20 and up, oh no, 18 and up. Which ones were that? That was... Me. I got dirty a crit. 20. Dirty. 20 crit. Dirty. Uh, Ink eyes, you were included in this. 14. 26. Anyone who, who rolled over an 18. You start like looking back and forth between each other. It's weird. Why is Tunuk so hurt? Covered in torn clothing. Why is Amara bleeding out the side of her neck? Oh, God. And Rowan's going to rush over and just why like. Why is Noob, or sorry, why is Akron favoring his leg like that. Rowan's going to just tear off like his undershirt from his uh, and then he's going to start wrapping around her what neck. What are you doing? That's expensive. Um, going to look at his blade and like make sure that, because I'm assuming I can feel hit dice going, getting sucked out. Um, kick off all but one uh, of those souls. Oh, uh, you've only got your just, oh shit. What's is is Amara's... Ink is injured at all? Ink, you look down and you are like covered in bruises, and you like mentally test your key, and you are down three. Oh my god! Some news are Akron. You sit back and you're like, "What the yeah. fuck is going on?" And you start like looking at your own, like, "What what can I cast?" And you realize that you only have a single first level spell left. God damn. Drone's going to go into his pack and pull out a potion of healing. You have one healing potion left. Oh my God. What? Well, I mean, yeah, that's the only one he has. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I thought you had more. You have the one I healing have... potion. How are my sorcery points doing? You have you one have... sorcery point. Yeah. Okay. That is that There's... is your current reality now. Rowan is going to give comprehension. Amara the no. Abner's potion. I'm no, assuming. No, I don't want this. Why are you giving it to me? Your oh. neck. Uh, we're what, fine. What about my neck? 
And Rowan's going to move his hand and show her the blood. You see as Rowan reaches up and puts his hand up on your neck, and you realize you're wiping away blood from a already healed over wound. And you, like, pull your hand away, and it's got Amara's blood across your... And Amara, you see as Rowan's palm is covered in your blood. <laughs> uh, Davner, you notice as, yeah. like, you're looking at your blade, it's covered in some sort of strange blood. Some sort of viscous material. Tunuk, you dive into yourself, and you realize that all but one of your rages is completely used. Okay. So dead, okay. dead. No. Uh, you you have your staff and you realize that there is a full charge inside of it. Oh shit. What happened? Ink's gonna look uh, down. So how about my at... hellish rebuke and it's, darkness? Uh currently your oh. hellish rebuke is used. Oh no, your darkness is used. Okay, hellish rebuke I still have as a as a yes. reaction. Okay. Yep. Uh... Ink is gonna look down at his hands and check if there's oh, blood on his knuckles. Shit. And then there's... check his sword to see if there's blood on it. You pull your sword and you look at it and it's like got sort of viscous material all over it. And you dive into it and you realize you have no luck currently. How fucked am That's I? The... That was the scimitar, not the luck blade. Oh, sorry. The different one. Scimitar then. Uh, yeah. But you're, to for you to note, your luck blade has been used for the day. Amara, you're looking down and you have no spell slots left. <laughs> okay, uh, please take Guys, this. Please why, take this. Why did I use a soul? Is there anything of Rowan? <laughs> Is there like Rowan? You look down, and all of your unleashed incarnations are used. Oh, nice. You pull your swords out, and looking at them, and you realize that for the one blade that's a solid blade, it's completely covered in a viscous material that looks like it's been charred and burnt all the way down you're you're checking your body and you realize that your armor freshly cleaned your new shirt that you now have ripped a sleeve off of is actually burned in sections you're looking at yourself and you are you look like you got a little fucked up and you're looking down you now understand that something is happening guys I don't like this at all. What did we fight? Rowan's gonna sheathe his sword, and then he's gonna hey. go to Amara and be like, May I? And he's gonna I just don't... Her up. Uh, yeah. And we're gonna run. Your your Turn health points are all at full, by the way. Everybody is healed we're up bruised. or has been healed. We're yeah. bruised and stuff, but we're not, we're not hurt, really? You're all not right, so... currently hurt, as if you've been healed. This okay. We have minimal cool. resources, nice. maximum. Okay, guys, we need I to get back I... to the house right now because this, yeah, is, yeah. this is an opportunity. Yeah. We Rowan's have gonna... willing participants here for me to detect thoughts. Yeah. I, yes, because I think I just consumed a soul to heal myself, and oh, sorry. Rowan's gonna pick up Amara, thinking that she's hurt, seeing the gash and the blood on his hand he's gonna pick her up and bolt to the house and hoping everybody else is following suit okay yeah we should get to the house before we do that detect thoughts okay. we... well yeah i have to i had to i had to heal and i will yeah. be in the but, same uh, spot that we were like heal you are standing in the same spot hmm do we have to go home? We have to go home. Yes. We have to go home. We, we to go need home. to rest and figure out what happened because I... Before we go off running, Ink Eyes is going to open his journal, go to the very back page, and note all this down. So you start rolling through this, like, journal that you've been keeping since you started these investigations. These sort of, like, individual instances of, like, trying to be aware and like writing things down um and you remember like you were at the library when you were writing things down you were you've been going through you've been using these for the investigation and as you like start flipping pages you hit a point where there is no longer a really fresh fine distinct uh, uh, uh 
markings or writing or handwriting, clean handwriting that you usually use, there is a very large, it's killing everyone. Run! Then you turn another page and there's another set of ranks. I can't, where did it turn another page? And at the very back, it almost got us. The entire journal was filled with this. Every three to four pages. The other ones were blank in between? Uh, uh, the, his normal writing of like what he was registering or noting for the pages. But you would get to a point, a fourth page, a third page, and that page would be just completely marked over. So it was like this was happening in between moments of quote-unquote normal stuff? Note it down on a blank page and then rip it out and keep it in a separate pocket. He, um, you guys aren't like, you know, this isn't a joke, right? Uh, I don't think so. How is this a joke? What are we joking about? Right. I don't. Okay. According... So I I want to make sure because I don't remember shit, and there's a soul missing None of us from my do dagger. Either. Yeah, in a Mars part of the drained. Ugh, what is that? Your shit. What's that? Ugh. Yeah. Davna, do you want to take some okay. of the the mucus? All three of you uh, begin looking around again, and first off, there are people calmly walking by you normal levels of like people in the evening walking back and forth and just sort of like saying hi goodbye like the normal life happening sort of things anyone acknowledging us looking at us even no. like people are uh, just sort of like walking past you not paying attention oh. oh yeah no not this time because normally that happens is there a perception check that i forgot to run no they aren't gonna remember anything <laughs> I guess Rowan's more concerned about Amara. Like, what the f- Like, he's fucked seeing her whole Dabner's neck. a little upset because he's missing a soul. That means he consumed a soul to heal himself. Mm -hmm. Which is a mildly evil action. You only yeah. have one more to do, right? That's- no. Did he, he have can, three total? No, I had two. I had Yeah, the so the next soul, one's your sister. I had my sister. Yeah, your sister's the next one. But you no, only have Dabner one more left. wouldn't have done that. I and think. all of you simply realize that, man, why are we so injured? Mm. What's going on? Yeah. And you remember none of that. Uh, I, th I think we just need to get home. A really good night's rest will be great for us. Yeah. We have stuff to do in the morning. I don't know. Yeah, what are them, we? You know what? We were drinking earlier. I feel tired, but I'm not tired. Like, I'm beat up, but I'm not beat up. I just know. Uh... Oh, um, all, three have, all three of you have. All three of you are at half your health points. Oh. Oh, okay. God damn. I am beat up. Never mind. What are you guys talking about? Uh, just. Uh, still tired. Rowan's gonna like I look at himself. Why, feel so beat up. He's gonna look at himself and look at Amara, who is in his arms, and I don't know how she is, but like. The shirt that's around her, like a piece of his shirt that's around her neck, to keep the wound. Wait, and he's gonna like pull her to go close. To I don't want to like, be on the streets. And he's gonna. Are you guys feeling okay? Run. Uh, yeah. That's what we all tough. look like right now to each other, like mm -hmm. Mars still gushing blood from the neck, but not dead, and all that. Mm -hmm. That's still the same. Yeah, yeah. all of that sort of inner, inner, like, what the fuck is going on that was happening before that moment was still happening. You just... I'm scared. Can we go home? Yeah, Rowan's gonna... Yeah. I got you, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. And then Rowan's just gonna just take off, like I said before. Rowan's okay. taking off to go home and with Amara in his arms. Good okay. idea. You see Rowan just moving at sort of top speed to get away, and you all are sort of moving with her or with him to keep up with them. That list that you have. Can I see that real quick? You don't want to look in my journal. I'll we... talk about it when we get home. Okay, when we get home, I want to see the list. I want to see if we talk to anyone else, maybe. I'm going to try Can't... catching up to Rowan. And... What we're looking at is reality. Or if it's an illusion. <laughs> is this just real life? 
You or can make an insight or, or is this just fantasy? <laughs> Caught, Caught in a landslide. 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 No there escape. is no escape from my reality. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fucked. While they're running, she's just no going to cast mending on pieces of his shirt because she's just like in shock. And... Try and mend the shirt back into place because it was a really expensive shirt. It was. Oh, I don't know shit. I don't know. Something just feels off, and I'm going to try to use uh, on Amara the ring of protection from good and evil that's inside of it. Is it even there? Is it even there? What happens? Does, you, does the universe implode? You place your hand on Amara, and you cast the spell, protection from good and evil. Nothing happens. You try to cast the spell, and it's empty. Gotcha. Oh, it's a full empty. I thought I had something in there. Sorry. No, it's okay. You should have. You should have. Wait, no, maybe he did it. Uh, you you should have. Right? I, I could have easily forgotten to chart it. I'm not but the spellcaster. We just left home. And he's kind of running and kind of like running through the crowd and like protecting, like elbowing to, to protect Amara from any impact at, at all and shouldering. Is my blood maledict gone? Yes. That means somebody died. For now, till the morning. And my life worth? Did my tattoo activate? As you make your way up your steps, the door opens. There, standing at the doorway, Butler. Good evening, lords and ladies. You all appear to be very uh, in need of help. If the mistress has some healing potions stashed, I need them. And Rowan's gonna just go and lead Amara up to the bedroom. And Javis that is all he had. Be like, um, would you guys, Rowan, uh, we're gonna rest. I think she's fine. I feel I she's I, fine. She's, she's fine. fine. She's just, I don't think we should stay in separate rooms tonight. I think we should all stick together. Stay in the living room with the mimics. Yeah, I think that would be the best. We, we can... keep a watch. Uh, house, can you bring down all of our mattresses, please? Put them all together. Of course. There's a, multiple pillows and blankets that are sort of weirdly folded in place and set onto the edge of these mattresses. The couch is still there, along with various sort of like accoutrement for mm, camping out in the living room, so to speak. Are you sure? I think, guys, we should all stay here tonight to where we're all in eyesight of each other. Uh, I Do we want to take watch? I want to take watch because somehow last night, or I used a soul today, and that means I consumed a soul to heal myself, and I don't, that doesn't sit well with me. If I can pop my goggles on and kind of just sit, keeping an eye out on everything while everyone lays down and go to sleep. Take his journal out and just throw it on one of the mattresses and have it mm -hmm. open, just... If anybody wants to read it, they can. Can any can Davner recall any of the names that we spoke to today? You can recall the names that you read off of the list. Davner's gonna pick up the journal and be like, "Do I?" And basically recall the moments of talking to the one kid and the guys or the person's significant other that couldn't remember that they were married. Yes, you do. Okay. During the time before we realized it had become dark, the moment in between those moments, do you remember anything between the time it was bright and the time it was dark? You get a sense of emptiness, of absence, there's nothing there to remember, but it's not a whole so much as just an absence. There's no ragged edge of memory. There's just nothing there. And in the last instance, you get a sense of screaming, shouting, un 
tenable fear, rage, sadness, hope, and then crushing pain. Davner, <laughs> what is something that would give you immense fear, hope, pain, and s just absolute rage? I've never felt all of those at the same time. Whatever happened between the moment of the last memory of light and then the nighttime rolling in, it's a clean cut. Nothing's been erased from your mind. It has been surgically removed, it would seem. If that is the case, it's almost like this is uh, what I'm looking at here is a dream. You hear in the center of your mind a sound that you cannot make out. It's almost at the tip of your ear and it's so hard to feel a single understanding of what it might be. But all you can do is hear and then out. As all of you watch, as Akron falls to the ground in front of you. Rowan's gonna dive over and kind of just grab Akron. In a, in a like, weaken kind of just like, like a fever dream kind of state, I'm just gonna try to try to push at the helmet. But I'll, 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 just... I'll just go and try to pull it off. You slowly. reach up, you pull it off, and as you're pulling it off, you see his like, portions of burned skin off of his head begin to like pull away oh and you see oh, is like incredible. there is a general removal of of all like of skin as it like the entire rim where it connected to his head and so you pull we're it seeing... away as the helm itself jerks from your hand begins to go <laughs> into a ball of metal what is what in the actual hell is happening right now it's gonna look from akron to amara focus on amara and then look to everybody else what is happening all right and then ron's gonna lay down next to amara and really hold her close like in a super protective way like he's not okay with how this is all going down and she'll meditate because she's gonna be too scared to sleep Oh, no. That was such a fucking oh, good God. episode, God. Oh, God! That was so good. Fuck, oh, dude. I loved that so much. <laughs> did Did you like my little? And I'm hurt, and I just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's poignant. Yeah. Oh, play, oh, play into that. Got to play into that shit. What the I, I love that the helmet imploded. <laughs> oh, dude! Imagine if I didn't take it off your head. We wouldn't have an I'm acorn if... anymore. I will give you a free one on this. Um, the moment he removed it from you, it deattuned. And oh. because it deattuned, something destroyed it. it. 